Hello, uh, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation, and uh, in this video I want to illustrate some uh, routing uh, techniques using the wonderful program of Expedition. Um, and uh, it will be looking at this route of a voyage uh, from July that came down here like this and around a period of heaving two because this path coming up here actually is a tropical storm, which they met here. But the main goal of this uh, exercise is to show that given the wind information they had here from the GFS predictions, they were exactly on the right co optimum course the whole time all the way up to this point, in which case the forecast got suddenly wrong. But uh, that's the first step. And then uh, I should, uh, should say that um, I have uh, this is really made for some friends who will understand my lack of professionalism on this production but that's something I should say in front of probably all of my videos so let's start with this process of how you do that with this program again very uh, very brief and the first thing I've done actually ahead of time here is I have loaded into the program the GFS weather now the only ones we care about are these first three and that is, uh, this one is uh, some file, uh, like five or six days of uh, weather starting, initialized on 7.11 at 12 Zulu. And that's the one we're going to use first. Then we're going to come back and look at their positions later on. Then I have to go up to my routing. And that's going to start on the 11th of July at 12 Zulu. So that's all okay. Then, uh, so we start, I'm starting with where they were here on 7, 11, 12 Zulu is right here. And then the t the, we're routing, the choosing the best route through the weather forecasts uh, will be to this midpoint, which is actually chosen not totally randomly, but um, out here is some uh, is the lower limits of the ice forecast. So they wanted to go below that and so and then further north up there but so this is sort of a midpoint of the of the route sort of an intermediate waypoint and you'll notice in this whole process there's no I don't input any speeds any speeds or any sail changes or anything like that because we're assuming I just make an assumption here I've got some made up some uh, estimated polar diagram of how this boat and I frankly don't know how that boat behaves uh, but this is a sort of a generic one made up that would, uh, I'm guessing, match those parameters. So when the wind speed is at this angle and this speed, they're going to be going so fast. And I read it right off this table. And the, or, excuse me, the program reads it right off that table. So now we go into the marks. Let me just see if I got that right. So that's the first leg we're going to do, uh, the first route. And that just goes from the starting point to the midpoint. Nothing fancy. And now I uh, activate that one, and uh, OK. So then it draws in, at this point, just a great circle route between there and there. And now our job is to turn on the wind and, and, this, and the polar diagram and have, it, uh, have the wind change as it goes through. So we go to the Optimize section and push Optimize. Now let's, let's see if it's doing it. Yes. OK, so there it goes. Now, and that's done very fast now I've turned on another feature because keep in mind this is actually a racing tactics program and so it's showing you the very best route which is like this now they actually took a route that's a down here a little bit lower but this whole but this whole area from here to here you anywhere in here you're within two hours of getting right over here so that's all essentially right that's basically essentially right they lean to the south for uh, you know, to be sure they get around that point, and also maybe, as you'll see, they might have been reaching a little bit harder than that diagram that I had. But let's see what do we and look here too, right out in the middle here. You see, well, how can how can this part of the route be just as good as this part of the route when we see here this wind is nothing and this is something? The answer is this is quite a bit later. This is quite a bit later. We're looking at the wind here at uh, at the starting point. So what you'd have to do to understand that is bounce forwards. Let's take the boat. See, watch the weather. The boat. See the boat here moving down the the, the um, predicted track or the optimum track, and then each day it's bringing with it the new weather. Now by the time you get down into here, look at this. By the time they get all the way over here, which is 36 hours later. 
then uh, then this see this wins all the same In fact it's a little better up here so had they gone up here they may have lost somewhere else but they're gonna pick it right back up again here and come right back down so that's how that's how this works so now then but the point is the next day they're gonna have another forecast so we can improve things a little bit to see if they were still on the right track by looking at the forecast the next day so that's at 712 712 Zulu and I just pulled of all their positions out I just parked these positions out where I know I have weather data starting initialized so now we go back to here settings I'm gonna go to weather I'm going to turn on the weather for that starts now. The weather starts at uh, 712 Zulu, and then up, and then I got to start it at the 12th. So now we're starting at the 12th, and we say go. And I think that's all I have. To, I think this will bounce back the right way. Um, now I just optimize that one. Ah, okay. uh, what's wrong? Oh, I must not have, I must not have activated the right. Okay, so there's a little mistake here. I'm going to come in here and delete that. Delete, delete. Okay. I must not. Oh no, wait. That's not what I want. Cancel. I'm a kind of a not kind of. I'm exactly a um, neophyte at this, but I have to activate the right route. You see, I activated the wrong route. I was using later weather with the new with the earlier route. So I activate that one. Done. Now, see, I should always check to see. This is now drawing. Here's where it's trying to go. It's going to start the new weather from here, from this point, and go over to here with weather that's a new, fresh, fresh set of weather from here. Now I, th I better check the other thing too here. Settings, uh, settings. Uh, optimum 12 I did set that right okay now we can try it again and then uh, optimize bang oh okay so now it started in the right spot and sure enough we see the same thing oh let me do something here results they're both red let me take this one and make it say green or something just for now okay Okay, so they were right up to here, and now we're the clear, still absolutely right here, even a little closer to the optimum, the very optimum track right in here. So we're all still perfectly good. In other words, it's the best sailing. The sailors picked out the best route they could for the winds, even looking ahead. Looking ahead, they picked the best routes for the next day or so. So that's good. Now we do the same thing. Let's do the final one. Um, what am I doing here now? Ch uh, um, 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 weather I put in I bring in the weather another day a fresher days worth of weather from here optimum routing now I'm going to start from the 13th from the 13th and say okay I think I've got everything and then optimize oh no I don't want to make that same mistake again marks here I have to go to the 13th and activate that route now you see what it's going to try to do. It's going to say, okay, from this position, what's the best route to get to here with the next five days of wind? We have the wind here every three hours, every three hours. There's all sorts of ways to optimize the optimizations, but we're not doing that for now. Okay, go ahead and now go optimize. And there it is here. So again, right here, it all works right. This 713, 713. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, I mean, unfortunately, but I mean, this analysis is over because sometime at 713, in fact, about 18 Zulu on 713, the National Weather Service did finally realize that these forecasts, that this storm was coming up here, this tropical storm was coming up here. This other, this other winds up here for these past several days are probably pretty not far off. That's why they were on the right route and everything worked fine. But sometime and down there around North Carolina or so, 713, things got really different. And then by uh, 14, 714, the middle of the 14th and the 15th, this, these forecasts are all totally wrong, totally wrong, uh, because there's now sitting here a tropical storm. And if you sit there, you see 35 knots, tropical storm, 40 knots, tropical storm, 
40 knots tropical storm and so on. So these maps were not right at that point. So that's what I wanted to show. The main thing I wanted to show is how such a program like this does figure out what's the best way to go if the, if the weather's right, if the forecasts are right, and uh, various ways to uh, analyze that. And also um, show that this particular voyage, they were indeed on the right track, sailing well, doing the best they, best they could with the real winds they had. It's just the real information they had was wrong starting about this time. It wasn't their fault. It just was wrong. Okay, so that's the end of that, uh, that uh, explanation. Thank you.